Greetings, friends. I want to talk to you for a few moments about something that was in the natural world impossible. But in God's world, there's no such thing. All things are possible. I want to talk about a young girl that was struggling with what she was told at the Mayo Clinic would be an incurable healing. an incurable healing. A friend of mine in Minnesota called me and asked me if I'd come up and visit with him and his family. His daughter was suffering from severe depression uh, to the point that she had, as a high school student, had entered into the realm of cutting. She began to cut herself. And so they took her to the Mayo Clinic and the Mayo Clinic said, look, she's deeply depressed. There's nothing we can do about this. This is incurable. She's going to be heavily medicated the rest of her life. So when I went up to visit and I, I spoke at their church uh, that night, her father and mother said, why don't you come here, Pastor Teske, speak? And she said, I, I don't want to do that. And she said, well, come here. him." so they kind of coerced her and she came and sat on the back row with her, her brother. And she listened to me speak. And then after the service that evening, they said, let's go to a, a pancake house and have dinner. And so she, re, you know, went with us, even though she didn't really want to go. And so while we're sitting there, I made a comment. She's not saying much. Her brother's sitting across, her mother and dad. And I made a comment about my wife, Rivers. I said, the first time I met Rivers, I said the 23rd Psalm. I said, the Lord is my shepherd and I know what I want. And then everybody kind of chuckled. And later she told me, even though she didn't respond to that, that when I said that, it made her realize that I was kind of a human being. I was, I was okay. But it, it made an imp, uh, impact on her. And so the next day, she agreed to meet with me at a caribou coffee shop for coffee. So we sat down and met. And within 45 minutes, she was completely delivered from her depression, from her cutting. It ceased and desist from that moment on. And why am I telling you this? First, I want you to understand that with, with our God, all things are possible. There's nothing God can't do. And, and this girl's narrative is powerful. And so I asked her if she would write that prologue to my book, the book called Healing for Today that I published in 2000. And 10, later in 2013, it was published in Korean. But I asked her, Kylie, to write that prologue because she talks about why she entered into this deep stage of depression and ended up as a cutter. And then she talks about the transformation that took place when she met with me and how God delivered her truly from the depression and freed her up from this heinous, horrible, condition she was in. And then she ends that forward with a, with a, uh, uh, a poem. It was the first poem that she wrote after she was delivered from, from the, depress the depression. And what's powerful about that is that she was a writer. She was a, a journal keeper. She, she wrote all the stuff down in her, in, in her journal as she was going through the season of depression. And then this is the first poem that she wrote on the other side of that, showing her, her liberation. And, and it's called Shimmer. Shimmer. Because she began to shimmer. And now she's a, a grown woman. She, she's married, uh, has a, husband, a wonderful husband, and living a very uh, blessed life. But I'm sharing this with you because, look, sometimes you hear the word, this is an incurable disease. There's, there's nothing we can do. And, and I've seen in my ministry numerous incurable diseases cured. Trigemina neuralgia, Meniere's, Tourette's. I can, a blind Presbyterian in Greenwich, Connecticut that I've talked about in one of my other uh, uh, talks. So look, with our God, all things are possible. I pray for people all the time. Some are healed, some aren't. My job is to pray and anoint with oil, lay hands on the sick. God's got the hard part. Thank you. Be to God that he's got the hard part. But in this case with Kylie, uh, she was completely cured from this treacherous disease, depression, with, and, and cutting herself. And look, you may know some people in your realm uh, of experience that struggle with these similar situations. 
I want you to pick that book up, Healing for Today, and read that, that prologue by, by Kylie about how God liberated her from an incurable disease, according to the Mayo Clinic, and how today she's uh, living a celebrated life, and she loves the Lord, and is very active in, in her walk with the Lord and, and her husband. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's been encouraging. And I want you to know that your God loves you. And, and he blesses you too. And I want you to just pray and ask him, what, what do you need him to do for you right now? Just ask him. Look, if you want to comment to me, hit the comment button. Or if you want to send me a prayer request, go to Paul Teske Ministry. Dot com. There's a prayer button there. I answer all these prayer requests every day when they come in. And, I, and I'm doing this for you. And again, I have the, a, a litany of teachings on my YouTube page. Over 300. Paul Teske Ministry. So, reach out and I'll reach out to you, okay? Go in peace and serve the Lord. And all God's people said, Amen.